Today we consider how we can abort Ajax request using jQuery. Normally we have to make use of abort method for aborting Ajax request. Let's consider one example here. As you can see this is my solution and I'm calling a Ajax request to one of my methods named getData. This is a code behind method named getData that do some database operation. Now let's save it and check whether this should run. Put a breakpoint here. Okay, if you run this application, you can see. Yes, as you can see the breakpoint is hit. That means we are able to request a Ajax request to this getData method. Now let's abort this request using abort method. Here on Ajax request, we have assigned the Ajax request to a var object named request. And then for aborting this request, we are using abort method request.abort. Now let's save it and rerun this application. Yes, as you can see, we are getting something went wrong. Please try again. That's the error section. If you see, this is the message from error section. That means the attack request is aborted by this abort method. So none of the request is sent to this get data method. And we got the error message. Something went wrong. Please try again. If you can see, we have only placed some breakpoint on the get data method. And we are able to cancel this Ajax request successfully by using request.abort. Let's make another scenario. That means make some delay before this request.abort. I have put some alert before this statement. Now let's save it. And we have put the breakpoint and rerun this application. So in this context, we have already sent the HTTP request to the getData method before executing request.abort. Before executing request.abort, we have placed alert method. That's why the HTTP request is sent to this method. Yes, we got the alert message and it is before executing request.abort. Now say OK. Yeah, now we are receiving another request, another alert message. Something went wrong. Please try again. That means it says it will not receive any output from the HTTP request in the success section. Instead, it has already raised the error section. But if you see, the only send HTTP request to the code behind is still active. That means it is not getting terminated by the abort method. Let's press F10 to see whether it will execute further. Press F10. Yeah, it is executing. So in this section, we are not able to cancel the HTTP request, but cancel the success request back only. So here we have seen how to cancel Ajax request using jQuery and different scenarios of request.abort. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please visit technmark.in for more information.